it's springtime and that means there's going to be spring cleanups. That's a good thing because usually they're very profitable. In fact, I know a couple companies that all they do is spring and fall cleanups and they don't mow grass. That's all they do. We've been talking about piecework. How in the world do you pay piecework for cleanups? Well, the key is your labor. When you go and you estimate a cleanup, you've already estimated how long your guys are going to take to do that cleanup. So let's say you built in four hours to do the cleanup, plus the mulch, plus whatever else that you're going to put in there, the edging and things like that. So those four hours, that's what you would pay on the piecework. You just rate it as a four hour job in clip, and then you can run the piecework just as you would with a mowing job. Your guys might be able to get it done in three hours. Well, good for them and good for you, because that means you'll be able to squeeze one or two more cleanups into that day's work. And that is just more profit in your pocket. So really with piecework, it applies to cleanups, to projects, and to mowing. You always have a labor component. Take the labor component out of your estimate and put it in there as your man hours for that job. And that will tell you exactly how much you're supposed to pay on piecework. Free up your guys to use their own intelligence and their own ingenuity to figure out how to do things better, faster, and with better quality.